Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There! Now, hold the pose. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lady, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives character. You're still here? 
We have nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. <sighs> he was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lady! You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lady, please, I beg you! Her Highness has personally requested I finish this! Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. Hey! Green blood! Kurt! And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! thought myself a competent weapons master. It's becoming a little hard to believe. Don't add insult to injury. This is humiliating enough. We'll need to get you through the basics, or you risk getting your feathers plucked at the first sign of trouble. That could definitely come in handy. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training partner. Go! Fight with honor!
It appears we've brushed up on the basics. It does. And I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. On the contrary, I am thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Don't tell me the old school teacher is competing against me. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for a celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort. To know my daughter has left on a mission to heal her people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. It's done. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You were right. Maybe he is already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier located? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits.
Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it is certainly worthy of inspection. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is taking office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. 
They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. A legate needs to know the history and strengths of her allies. The Alliance was sealed by several nations of the Bridge around 200 years ago. The greatest of our cities, Al Saad, became the capital, and a council formed from the different nations now rules. This union was originally put into place to better resist the appetites for conquering our neighbors. But our ancestors quickly realized that the Union had also strengthened us economically and culturally. And of course, exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance leads our world in science and exploration. Each day, we push the limits of our understanding further in each and every domain. Could you give me your understanding of the relations between the congregation and the bridge? Our relations hang essentially on the quality of our trade and commerce. The exchanges are very profitable, especially on the cultural front. I will not hide from you that we have hoped you would join our number for quite some time. But your princes insist on maintaining a neutral stance between the congregation and the other nations on the continent. It is by all means a respectable position, even if it means you also trade with our enemies. The Bridge Alliance has been on Tear D for much longer than we have. What can you tell me? It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island. An enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied, and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never, ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses. But they're not the only occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there, who speak an incomprehensible language. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough. And what of your war with Teleme? <sighs> it has been dragging on. In fact, it has been dragging on for years. It is madness. If those bigots hadn't gotten it in their heads to convert the entire continent, we wouldn't be in this situation. But that's the way of the world. We shall not waver, whether here or on Tiafredi. Have you been fighting battles there as well? From what I've been told, Teleme has wisely and tastefully built their colony far from our city. Direct conflicts are in fact quite rare. But one day they will inevitably take place. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady de Sade.
Good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade. To what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tear for D on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that, but I'm sure that my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The Prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time, far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You were hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. Could you tell me anything about Teleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah. You must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical, and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. What is your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. How is Teleme faring on Tirfridi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. 
There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on Tear D? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. The merchant is there. Good day, my lady. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sardé, niece of the Prince d'Orsay, and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. 
especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and theft. You know as well as I that the congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay, unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... As you request, milady. I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting us. Lady Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier for d as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah. But you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, yeah. If he finds an alternative solution that is less, uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required.
Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. There are some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's niece. If all is in order, you will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking, maybe clandestine passengers? Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails, not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you? Why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? A couple of heretics are planning on leaving Serene. The ambassador of Teleme has entrusted me with the job of capturing them. Happy to see that you trust me enough to seek my counsel in the affair. Just so happens that I heard someone talking about the couple. The Cardinal's men are far from discreet. They are making quite some ruckus. Asking to search our warehouses. We, of course, refused entry. Only the Norts have access. I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I'm certain your potential stowaways aren't far. But we won't allow you to make a search to grab them. Not officially, at least. What do you mean? That discretion and malice are often more useful than titles and words. You haven't heard anything about my cousin, by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern, but I haven't heard anything else. That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel. I wouldn't go that far. We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. 
Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier 4D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse and noted on the manifest will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are gonna have to wait until the next ship sets sail. Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is gonna have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible turn. In that case, we're going to have to doctor the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you become a Nort? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the Norts master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a Nort from birth. Others are sea gifted, joining the Norts for different reasons, often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Could you tell me anything about our destination? The island of Tiafredi? It is a magnificent place. Wild. Spared from your wars and your mines for now. The natives have a relationship with their land and consider it sacred. They were very friendly people, welcoming, that will appear to you strangely familiar. I've also heard that there are a great many exotic creatures, some enormous. But I wouldn't know what else to tell you. I've never strayed far from the ports. What do you think of our port? Are you referring to this one? It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us Nords. Certain zones are owned completely by us, and maritime lore holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a Captain Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. 